the shimmy going. Whew. There. See what this piece is looking like. Probably gonna have to repair some of it. There's a hole right there. Yeah, I'm gonna need some repairs on this before I can attach it to the other piece. Bad rings. All right, one hole at a time. Start at the top here. First rule of repairs, get rid of the bad ones. Actually, I should verify that this even is the same size as the other piece before I try attaching it. It is, all right, look. These are really bad shapes. Howdy. Very bad shape. Almost at a point where I don't want to repair it and use it, but I'm not that crazy. I'll use it. Well, stick around. You'll see them being made. Can be making some in just a second here. Just got to find a good starting point with all the damage on this thing. Knots everywhere. No, this isn't it. <laughs> this is the actual shirt right here. I found this old scrap piece. I'm looking to see if I can repair it enough to be used in this. But right off the bat, this looks like a much smaller gauge wire or a much smaller gauge paper clip, so it might not be suitable. Let's see if I can pull this. If I can pull it, we're not using it. This was probably made from number one paper clips, not number two. If I can get a good grip. Yeah, we're not using this. This is garbage. Once upon a time, I probably thought this was a good piece of work, but now this, uh, this is all going to go in the trash. So many hours of work. Crash. All right, so we're not using that that old piece of scrap crap. See, that's why I want to do the sleeves like this because it's a lot stronger, last longer. I really wish I had done the entire shirt like that, but too late to go back now. Well, I guess it's not, but I'm not starting over. Not right now. Okay. Literally just bought a nice new magnet. I don't know where the hell I put. There we go. Magnet upgrade. Too powerful. <laughs> oh, Lordy. That definitely works pretty good for picking up these little scrap pieces. Mm, 
wearing it in public is the idea. I already walk around in red, blue, yellow, white suits. Wearing a little chainmail in an issue. All right, let's stick with the new. Chainmail shirt with three different weaves, all out of paper clips. Yeah, see, these are. Yeah, these are number two paper clips. These are better. Uh, that weak ass number one shit in here. Find our spot where we left off. That's a 20. My pre-straightened paper clips. I know a lot of you are going to say, ah, where are the paper clips? All right, well, so we're going to do one from, one from the start. Step one, straighten paper clip. Doesn't have to be perfect. Get yourself a metal rod. I've got a whole collection of them, but for this one, we're using this one. And they can literally be anything. These are curtain pins. I do chainmail with nail. I don't know where my nail ran off to. Just used it last night, too. Oh well. This one was made using a nail. last night on the live all right so you take your metal rod you take your paper clip you wrap it around the metal rod or you can use regular wire whatever i use paper clips you don't have to use paper clips it's my own self-imposed rules that mean nothing all right tighten the coil around there just so i can get that one extra ring out of it making a chainmail shirt out of paper clips then you got yourself a nice little coil. Get yourself some cutters. Magnetic tray helps to collect the trash. Need a spot for my rings. If you all see me doing this, it's because this uh, username is very hard to read at this angle. No, they're hard to read straight down. They really need to change that color. I complain about that every single time. It's like, yeah, let's make it opaque. That's That was a genius idea, TikTok. And there's our rings. Just like these other 5,000-ish. Let's see if we can make a... Tower. Oh shit. <laughs> I like this magnet. I picked it up for two bucks. Home Depot. <laughs> this has got some power to it. It's a good little fella. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna leave this thing on the stand. Really? The stand's not metal, are you kidding me? Cheap ass tripod. <laughs> there we go. So we need 20 rings for the next rope. Well, we need a lot more than 20, but 20 at a time is a good way to rest my fingers in between doing this. Got five already. This will put us at 10. I'll cut them all once I have the coils. If 
if I could read your name. I'll tell you, this is really retarded. I have no idea what the hell it is. I switched to the black backdrop thinking I could see it better, but nope. Opaque grayed out names over silver chainmail. This does not work very well. Need to let you change your own color. If they do let you do that, I have not been able to find it in the sections. Settings. Alright, the green and red. 15 ish years ago, when I was just getting started with paper clips, I made this weird thing. So now I'm going to try to remake it, and in the center there you see the old green ring, so that new chainmail green ring is going to replace that one. So that'll be the new one. There we go. This couldn't possibly end badly. Let's just put the magnet on the back of the glove. I could run wire on a drill, except I don't use wire. Well, it is wire, but it's paper clips. And the time it would take to set up each paper clip on the drill, not worth it. All right, that should be our 20. You got to have patience in life. There's no point in not having it. Should spent three hours at the DMV yesterday. Wasn't even fidgeting. <laughs> Although, if I had known it was going to be three hours, I would have brought my paper clips with me. I probably would have thought it was a weapon, though. Can you be mod? I don't know you, man. <laughs> <coughs> nah. Well, if everybody tells me exactly how it would work better. You do realize that this is art and there is no better. You know, a uh, Mona Lisa can just be printed on a computer and that would be better than you trying to hand paint it. But that's not the same. All right, 20 rings for the next rope. And one piece of scrap. All right, the sharpness test. Urgh, come here, balloon. Balloon. Chain mail. Nope. Very soft to wear. And if I have any jagged pieces, I have this lovely little tool. So what this does, let's say you got a sharp edge from a clipping. A little tool goes in the end of your wire. It's not just for paper clips. And you twist it for a bit. And what it basically is is a diamond tip that softens it into a, a dome instead of a sharp point. If I want to spend the time doing this. Not really necessary on chain mail. Sometimes necessary on sculptures. There we go. Sharp edge gone. I am not the guy from Colorado. I do not know who the guy from Colorado is. I don't know if that's supposed to be a compliment or an insult. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> it's, a very, it's a very good question. What the hell is this tool called? I don't know. Hold on. 
I might have its box somewhere. And by somewhere, I mean in my trash can. When I was trying to clean up the office, I threw away a bunch of stuff, including my old packages. There we go. Wire rounder. Wire rounder. We are making a chainmail shirt out of paper clips. gonna be one of them days apparently that was literally the first ring <laughs> make sure I didn't just lose any of them with that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nine twenty all right we're good oh don't worry I will be posting it throughout the process and when I'm finished. Now, if I was going to keep making it like this, I could be done probably in another 15 hours or so. But I stupidly decided that I want to do the sleeves and the much smaller rings and then connect it to the gloves. And then I decided that I wanted to get out some modified Helms weave that I was practicing on the other day and make a hood out of this. So it's, I don't know, 100 hours, 150 hours ago. Other projects are falling behind because of it. If I do miss any of y'all's comments, it's not intentional. It's because sometimes I have to look down and away from the screen. Seven oh two, doing pretty good today. It's not a record for us, but seven oh two is good. It's a four and one chainmail pattern. So each ring is connected to four others. I could probably do it six and I'd really like to do it eight and two, but again, I don't want to waste all that time. So here's a little eight and two paperclip chainmail. It does look a lot nicer and it's a lot stronger. It's just so much more work. Good news about eight and two though is that I can always go back and add to it to make it eight and two. One little piece at a time. So finish first, modify later. I was really hoping that scrap piece would have worked too. I was very excited when I found that yesterday. It's a shame that it's garbage. Now what I mean by garbage, let's see if I have this now. Office is clean, but not perfect. Eh, I don't know where it is. I had a box of regular ones. Uh, why paper clips? That's a common one I get every day. So, I used to make things out of regular wire. And then about 15 years ago, I had a job as a private security guard working at night. Very boring. If you've ever been security, you know. And I didn't have my wire tools with me, but I did have a box of paper clips. And I found I liked the challenge of trying to figure out how to make things out of paper clips. It's essentially still wire work, but a lot of challenges with this that you don't have with regular pieces of wire.
All right, 20 up. 20 rings. Connect it to that. I do have a YouTube channel, but there's nothing on the YouTube that you're not going to see on here. The YouTube channel is strictly for a place for me to uh, upload the live shows so I can save them somewhere. Otherwise, that's a lot of footage to download. And I'm backlogged by about a week and a half of my uploads on there. But the channel is the same as the username here. We we're making a chainmail shirt out of paper clips. Actually, wire long run is probably cheaper than paper clips. Depending on the type of wire you're using, of course. But this is 16 gauge galvanized steel. So a spool of 16 gauge galvanized steel wire is cheaper. One more rope right there, connect it all together, and we filled in that cube. So another 20. Hey, I got some already cut. Do I have 20? Of course not. I got 19. All right, grab one of our pre-straightened ones. And our metal rod. How much is the shirt worth? I'll be able to do the math on how much it cost me when I'm finished. But as far as how much it's worth, eh, that's a different story. I mean, you're talking a hundred and more hours to do it. And these aren't even riveted. <laughs> you find one of these people selling riveted chain mail. Oh my god, the amount of time it took to do that is ridiculous. That's at least twice as long. Reps. Okay, that's my 20. Put the over 20s in here. This is a hobby only. We'll see. I don't know. If y'all make me TikTok famous and I could quit my job and do this all day, that would be nice, but <laughs> I don't see that happening. Nine seventy four. Now we're talking. The ring is a major help. You can buy them on Amazon or eBay, whatever. About five bucks. They're called jump ring openers. Nope, I don't sell anything. I give everything I make away. I'd like to start selling, but <laughs> really kind of hard to put a price tag on anything because if you spend hundreds of hours making it, <laughs> to make it worth your actual time, well, you'd, you'd have to set it at a ridiculous price. It's not a very profitable hobby. I could probably sell rings and bracelets. I've been trying to get that going, but i got to find the time to get a supplies built up. It only takes about 30, 45 minutes for a ring. Depend on pattern. Bracelet I can usually do in an hour. You say baby hands? Yeah. It wasn't like my hands ain't they ain't baby hands. I think I wear like a size eleven ring. All right, not made for long wear. <laughs> so again, the material is paper clips, but paper clips are made from 16 gauge galvanized steel. So you can tell how these paper clips are darker. That's because they're old. That means they've oxidized, they've changed colors. 
You can see the silver ones, the really bright ones, those are newer. But aside from maybe 20 rings on this thing, I have not had to do any repairs on this glove, and I've been wearing, wearing this set for about 20 years. I'm sorry, 10 years. Other than my gloves, not much right now. I got Steve, but Steve ain't for sale. Good old Steve. I got a couple rings ready. Wrong size for me, though. Size sixes. That's a box chain. Here's my favorite, the Byzantine, but again, size six. I ain't fitting. I think that one's also a size six. Also Byzantine. Got a four in one. I actually just scavenged my bracelets yesterday for materials. Working on another glove. I got my belt. Also paper clips, all the paper clips. Started a tie, but I haven't gotten very far on the tie. I figure I need at least a couple dozen ready to go items before I open a store. Well, the problem isn't inventing a machine that can make the rings. There's already a machine for that. It's called a power drill. Uh, the problem is you got to clasp it onto the power drill. And basically, it takes longer to do that than just to do it by hand. Would be easier on my hands, though. Really need, like, a miniature version. First piece that I made when I got bored at work was a shopping cart. No longer have that. I gave that away to a guy who helped me move about five years ago because that was his uh, <laughs> that was his payment price for him helping me move. We we're making a chainmail shirt, and all the chainmail is made out of paper clips. Everything you see is paper clips. Now my favorite one. I made Thanos a glove a little while ago, but no, my favorite one is my. Uh, Little demon walking his dog under a street light while smoking a cigarette. Everything's paper clips, including the light. And he was unfortunately in a box in the basement for years, and he got water damage and a little bit of rust. I could probably buff that out, but that's right. It just shows his age. I'm thinking probably 100 hours. Not a joke. This moves pretty fast. Each of these gloves took me about 40 hours, and I'm going to be doing uh, the sleeves in this pattern. Now, when I first made these, I didn't know what I was doing, so I'm faster, but that's still a lot of work. And I want to do a hood, and I've never done a hood before, so there's going to be some trial and error with that. I am 37. Old man compared to most on TikTok. Not all, most. And that rope's done. Oops. See that right there? That is a mistake. You guys probably can't see that, but each ring should overlap the next, and this reversed the pattern, so I'm going to have to take that little ring off. Yeah, well, at least I found the mistake early. It's not a hard fix. We sell nothing. I either keep the items or give them away. I don't think I'd be a good salesman anyway. I'd probably undervalue the hell out of my work. Now, if uh, if I ever actually finish Bob the, the big paperclip dragon, and somebody offers me a million dollars for him, I'd sell that. But nothing short of a million dollars. Retirement money. What's the question for everyone?
Yeah, we're gonna connect these ropes together. Turn this into a cube. I probably should have done all these ropes on my hand before putting it on the big piece to make it easier to work with, but oh well. Catching up here. Still need a better camera setup. Need to create a secondary account so that I can watch the, uh, the live from my laptop and mount this a different way. Ring is pretty simple. My last little ring here, we're gonna have to make some more. Pinch, stick it in through one of the slots, the closest to the gauge you're using, and twist. That is a bad ring anyway. Why, thank you, Linus. Yeah. See how many rings we need. I mean, I could coil them all at one time. We're all gonna, we're gonna need them eventually, but save my hands some pain. Seven. Grab the pad. First page. Ooh, nice and pretty. Four. All right, so twenty five total. So five paper clips. Back in the toothbrush holder. Yes, chainmail, shirt made out of paper clips. Everything made out of paper clips. And I do mean everything. Including these two things. Now, one thing I toyed around with. I've got three of these now. I'm curious to see if I could do chainmail with having each of these be its own ring. It's going to be a very big weave, but I think that might look pretty cool. About 30, 45 minutes for one of those, though. I have no idea. Pendants, whatever the hell you want to use them for. They're chain mail. And they're paper clips. First ever thing was a shopping cart. Uh, I don't know. If I had to guess, I'd say at least four or 5000 a year. For 15 years. So a lot. Once this, uh, once I get a nice rectangle out of this again, I can count it relatively easily. At half time, it was like 4,000 or something. 4,000 rings, not paper clips. Alright, we broke a thousand watching. Moving up in the world. Oh, why I'm yawning so much? Damn, always yawn when I get on these lives. Yeah, who wants to count out and wait? 
But no, it's not that hard if you get a nice rectangle because then you just got to count how many rows you got across and how many you got down. And it might look like a lot, but it's not. Like I know it's, uh, last time I checked it was 67 across. I don't remember what the vertical was, but maybe 150, 200. It's not that bad. Still only takes a few minutes. Really, I don't need the entire thing to be a rectangle, but it helps. I counted the glove ones, but I don't remember what it was. Probably because I don't see every comment that flashes. So you got to remember, the comments flash... New followers flash, any tips flash. Meanwhile, I'm looking at this back and forth. <laughs> so if I don't catch your comment, I just missed it. That's why I need a better camera setup. So I can have a laptop in front of me to look at it. Apparently they're spamming cam 4 now. Whatever the hell that means. Oh, God, here goes baby Jesus. <laughs> Anybody know what that cam spam is all about? I have no idea. You are my baka. <laughs> Whatever the hell that means. We're making a chainmail shirt, and all the chainmail is made out of paper clips. Yeah, I don't need that. Do you need my trash bin? It is not bulletproof. I'm sure there is some bulletproof chainmail out there, but it would have to be some really tough stuff. Man, those comments flying by. Let me go backwards. Well, essentially because it's a chain, just like chains are. It's a whole bunch of chains that are woven together, but it's still just chains. Well, I got 25 rings to connect here, and then we're going to count it, so you'll see the whole thing. All right, I think I'm caught up. You know, <laughs> I don't. So, I used to sharpen my snips all the time, but frankly, it was it's not worth the time and effort. I can get a new pair for 15 bucks, and I don't feel like spending an hour making them all beautiful again. I'd rather just spend the 15 bucks. I know, it's wasteful. But I got enough hobbies to do. Add sharpening to the list. But these new pair, I just bought these a few weeks ago. Very, very happy with these. So I might sharpen these. Making a chainmail shirt and all the chainmail is made out of paper clips. Thirty-seven years old. Depends entirely on what weave it is. This probably not that long. My gloves I've been wearing for ten years, never never had a problem. So the smaller the ring, the stronger it is, and the longer it will last. 
whether or not you're riveted or not also determines how long it'll last. Say jump ring opener. Stick the ring in the slot, give it a twist, and it opens it for you without you having to uh, drop what you're doing and get another pair of pliers. Uh, once we finish attaching this, less than 25 rings to go, we're going to count it, and we'll know exactly how many paper clips this is so far. And no, we're not going to count each and every ring. We're counting the length, width, and multiplication. But it should still give us an exact number. As long as I have this perfect rectangle. Which is what we will have here in just a minute. Well, not a perfect rectangle, but perfect rectangles. Uh, I don't have a scale that would be accurate enough for that. Plus, it wouldn't give me a specific number anyway. The reason I say that is because each, uh, each paper clip, you get a little bit of scrap off each one. So I'd lose some of the weight to that. It might not sound like much, but when you're talking this many rings, you're going to lose some. You're going to lose some numbers. Uh, the glove, I actually did a tutorial on this one, I don't know, three weeks ago or so when I made, uh, made a gold one with Infinity Gauntlet Stones. The Thanos glove. Fingerless Thanos glove, of course. I use the big rings, just for time. I prefer the small little ring weave for everything. It's just very, very slow. I'm not bad today. Uh oh, we got 666 viewers. What happened to our Jesus guy? Yeah, you can see me in my videos. <laughs> I am definitely not 20. A jump ring opener. Why, well, thank you, Jacob. See, what they really need to do is they need to give me access to the TikTok playlist feature so that I could sort sorting this by, you know, sculptures, chain mail videos, tutorial videos, etc. etc. They need to hurry up and roll that out. Drive me nuts. Like, there's no easy way to get to them, and I know where the videos are. So even if I, like, want to tag somebody in the tutorial video because they asked, I got to go through all my videos to find it. <laughs> it is not actual armor. It's going to be purely cosmetic. Although the little rings did stop a knife in one of my videos. These big rings are very weak, though. I mean, they're not weak. I can't pull them apart with my bare hands, but they're not stopping a weapon. Making a chainmail shirt and all the chainmails made out of paper clips. In a moment, we're going to be counting. Fun. Sesame Street level stuff. I got one. She's apparently sleeping. I think. I don't know. Or she's just busy. I don't really announce my lives too often. I do them every day, but it's just kind of when I uh, feel like it. I don't really have a set schedule on them, so she just happens to jump on when I'm on, then she'll mod. Might need to know you a little bit more before I give you mod powers and start booting people. Not that you would, but you could. Making a chainmail shirt out of paper clips. Alright, somebody's going to have to explain what the cam dash thing is. Somebody's got to know.
We are crafting a chainmail shirt, and all the chainmail is made out of paper clips. Once we finish attaching this little piece here, we are going to count it and figure out exactly how many paper clips it's been and how many rings it is. We're going to be doing a complicated thing called addition, multiplication, and division. But none of that new age math crap. If any of y'all are parents out there, I highly suggest you go to Google and look up a YouTube video on what's called new math and see how students today are learning how to do multiplication. It is horrifying. I'm an 80s baby. We, we, we learn the easy way. <laughs> yeah, we just need this nice rectangle before we can count. Uh, actually, you are wrong, sir. Carpal tunnel is not coming. It's ulnar nerve. Carpal tunnel's a big sister. And trust me, I'm years from having that. I've already had that. Had that for years. So the difference is small, but important. Carpal tunnel affects this finger, this finger, and that portion of your hand. Ulnar nerve affects your bottom three fingers and the bottom of your hand. So me from working the pliers, I have ulnar nerve damage, not carpal. If I go a little bit too crazy on the paperclip work and I use the pliers too much for too many hours a day, I will uh, start to lose all feeling in the bottom half of my hand until it goes completely paralyzed. Fun times. But I haven't had an episode like that in a while. But back in the day, I did. Back in the day, I was working on paperclip stuff like eight, nine hours a day, every day. It was not healthy. Any kind of repetitive motion is going to cause nerve damage. Oops, that's a bad one. Bad angle. Uh, the ring is called a jump ring opener. Take your ring, find the slot which is closest to the gauge of wire you're using, and twist. The only downside of it is whenever you twist, you're putting pressure on your finger, so it does hurt after a while. And I just think back in the days of medieval times... Those guys would sit there having a blacksmith out each and every one of these rings, hammer it down, rivet it. Which is why not everybody could afford chainmail. Started making chainmail about 10 years ago. Uh, not for the usage of chainmail. I was making a little water fountain, which I don't know where the hell it is. I think I might have given that one away, too. And I needed to make a way to way to make the water ripple. And I thought chain mail would be a way to do it. So I found me a picture of chain mail on, I don't know, whatever the hell we were using back then. Probably Google. And I just kind of figured it out. Most chainmail patterns, if I, can, if I look at a picture of it in its completed form, I can usually copy it. Not all, but most of them. It's kind of intuitive once you figure out the basics. Alta Vista, yeah. <laughs> Alta Vista, I remember Alta Vista. I think it was, it was past Axe Jeeves. Probably was Alta Vista. I remember I was had a uh, had to look up that picture on my old uh, blackjack, not Blackberry, 
I didn't have no BlackBerry money. I had a I had blackjack money. So YouTube was not an option either. <laughs> I had to clip the nails back down. Actually, not for the chain mail. I had them grown out to like here, and I was sitting there. I do a lot of office work, and I got to type 60, 70 words a minute, and those nails were uh, completely screwing that up. So they had to go. And we got our rectangle. Woohoo! Well, rectangles. So now we can count. <laughs> I, I don't know why, but I feel the need to throw this, this high powered magnet I just bought into my, my uh, ball of chainmail here. Try and pick up all these scraps. Oh, come on. Coda is an old nickname from when I was in high school. It is a musical note. That can mean a lot of things. In my case, it was uh, that I was always interrupt my friends playing band, and they thought it was funny because I stopped the music. The last refrain. And it stuck. All right, let's do some math. You know, everybody's favorite. They come to TikTok live to watch math. It's kind of hard to stretch it all the way around because I have the uh, shoulder strap now, but we're going to give it a shot here. I need to count. So the basic shape we have now is a rectangle. We've got a long piece on this side. And a somewhat long piece on that side. It's all dark. And then we got a shoulder strap. Obviously, that's not to scale. So we need to count that. 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 And that. And then we'll know how many we have. We're going to do the top line first. Straighten out my edge here to make it easier. Need a pointer. We're gonna grab another paper clip for that. We're going sideways. Sixty-two. Oh no, this is one hundred percent paper clips. <laughs> one hundred percent paper clips. Each paper clip stretched out like so, wrapped around a metal rod, turned into rings, and then paper clip chainmail. Yay! Those just joining, we have other paper clip items as well. It's one of my personal favorites. This is my. Demon, walking his demon dog underneath the street light. Everything in here is paper clips. And no, he does not have a name. I've never given him a name. Steve is back from the dead. For those of you who are worried about Steve, we uh, repaired his wing on alive, and he is back to fighting form. 
All right, we got that number. Going all the way down. So we're actually gonna use one, two, three. Dragging it up. Almost there. One sixty eight. All right, those are the hard ones. The rest of these should go pretty quick. Seventeen. Eighty five on that one. Thirty. All right. Not including the armband. We're not doing the armband right this second. Nah, I'll do the armband. Let's do it. Armband is seven per row. I know that. I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight. So armband, 37 times 8. We've got a calculator handy. Orange is very good at math in their head that I can actually trust when they give me an answer.
Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, we're making a chainmail shirt, and all the chainmail is made out of paper clips. Alright, 296 on the. Hey, somebody was right, 296. Okay, I didn't notice anybody was actually doing it. <laughs> so that's the arm. I'm going to add that in later. So your numbers to add or multiply. Uh, 168. Oh, I forgot to count. Damn it. I missed one measurement. Oh, good, it's a short one. I would have sworn I counted that too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 22, 23. All right, 23 times 51. My calculator, folks, 23 times 51. <laughs> no, it ain't 15. <laughs> oh, that, no, you are correct. No, he is 100% correct. Good catch. I wrote that when I was upside down. He is right. So that is, that is 23 times 15, not 51. Good catch. I was about to be a mess up. <laughs> So it's 20, 23 times 15. Let me fix that. Here we go. We got a, re we got a reversal. 23 times 15. I really need to give me a little, little tiny calculator in here. I do this so often. All right, 345, that sounds right to me. So 345... 296, that's our sections to add. So we just did all this. That's now out of the equation. Uh, 58 times 30. Fifty-eight times thirty. Fifty-eight times thirty. We go on this one and this one. A uh, shirt with long sleeves made out of this and a hoodie. You are in a math class, except we're, we're counting on the calculator, people. 58 times 30, 1740 sounds more accurate than 456. 1740 it is. Consensus. I like consensus. Okay, this one is now clear. Uh, we've got 17... Plus 51. Oh, no, I already know that. That's 62. Uh, did I not do this number? I didn't do that number. Well, that's bullshit. One more count. Going straight up. Oh, crap. I think that was my ring. This one might be off by a couple. I'm not that worried.
58. Oh shit, was it 85 or was it 58? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lordy. It's got me up. <laughs> oh, I, might, <laughs> I might recount this whole thing. Do it in a, do it in a regular one. <laughs> 85 sounds more accurate to me. <laughs> so, which number was that? I don't know. We're, we're taking... <laughs> We're taking a break. I'm going to count all this later once I get it as just a perfect rectangle. So <laughs> we're going to hold off on the counting until this is just one sheet. So I need to fill in this void right here. And then that's a wrap. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. All right. We're going to do a quick little tutorial on how this weave is made. Where are my rings? Training rings. Also known as shower curtain rings. Don't need many here. This is just a larger version of exactly what we're making down here so you can see what the hell it is I'm doing all this time. European 4-in-1. Typically the first thing you're going to learn when you do chain mail, it's not the easiest pattern. It's one of the easiest, but it's not the easiest, but it's the most common. So, grab yourself four rings. Then grab one ring. One ring goes through all four of those. That is why it's called 4-in-1, because every ring is attached to four others. Okay, so if you got this step, you're fine. Separated, so you got two, one in the middle, two on the other side. Lay it down in your hand, like so. So you got a stack of two, one in the middle, a stack of two. Take these top ones, pull them forward. Do that one more time. You got a stack, take the top two, one from each side, pull it forward. The rings are just pulled forward. You're going to grab another ring. And you're going to go through that, those two only. And you're going to attach one more to the right side. You're going to attach one more to the left side. Now it's the same thing we just had before. We're pulling the top two forward only. And we're just moving down the line. One to the right. One to the left. That is all European 4-in-1 is. You can do that simple move and just do it over and over and over and over and over again. However many times this is. Uh, then you can do this. Chainmail is its not difficult. It just takes patience. I mean, there, there's weaves that I've never done before, but I guarantee you give me an hour and I can do them. There, it's not complicated most of the time. There are some weaves that are a pain in the ass, but like this thing. I started with simple what's called Helm's Weave. But I needed something more rigid for another project, for the hood, for the shirt, actually. And I modified the hell out of this thing. You just, really, there's no wrong way to do chain mail. It's any way you can attach rings together. Technically speaking, you will see it in a lot of work online for sale. <laughs> this is chain mail. Just one ring, one ring, one ring, one ring. Now, if you want to turn it into something a little bit fancier... I'm going to make that chain a little bit longer. Okay. Then we're going to do it again and make the exact same chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rings. This is about the most basic chain mail you can get. All right. So all we got here, seven rings in a row. And all we got here is seven rings in a row. So the most basic chain mail pattern there is. We're going to lay those two chains next to one another. 
We're gonna grab a ring. We're gonna connect. Do, 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 do. So we're just connecting up the parallel rings. It literally can be any way that you attach rings together. I don't know what the hell this is called. It is cheap and weak, but it is chainmail. Make no mistake. That is ugly. <laughs> I can't really teach you a helm's weave with the shower rings simply because it's made up of different size rings, so there's no way for me to do it with the shower rings. I have to do that the old-fashioned one. But it's... Uh, <laughs> It's quick to learn, hard to master, but it's definitely within everybody's skill set. I am going to go take a break. I will catch you all later. I'll probably be on live again later tonight, but I don't know what time. Got to eat dinner and all that jazz.